Storm expert Tim Deegan is here keeping a close eye on it. And you've gotten lots of new information, not only of this, but there's also another tropical system. Exactly. The third tropical depression of the year has formed. And luckily, we have some thunderstorms, so let's get to it. First of all, there is Beryl. And in case you've just now tuned in over the last couple of days, Beryl is well out here, still almost 3,000 miles away from us. But a hurricane expected to continue to intensify up to winds of 90 with gusts to 100 miles per hour potentially approach and impact the Lesser Antilles as a hurricane. In fact, the island of Dominica now under a hurricane watch and then weakening significantly as it heads into the Caribbean. So let's put this in perspective for those of us here on the first coast. So this would be Monday and Tuesday. This is the newest official forecast track. So notice even beyond five days not impacting us. But many of you are wondering, we're wondering in the Weather Center. What about beyond five days where a lot of different things can happen? But generally, we think we'll continue to see a weakening trend, but the system also pulled up northward, possibly toward the Bahamas and then away. So that would be Wednesday and Thursday, but notice is a much weakened system. I promise you the forecast will be adjusted. So occasionally check in over the weekend and early next week for updates. Here is tropical depression number three. Notice it is east of us by hundreds of miles, but don't worry, it's not going to come here. If you do have plans for the Carolina coastline, it's going to be close. They're not under any watches or warnings. Looks like it's going to kind of meander here for a while. That's why the cone has almost a circular look, but then when it intensifies, possibly to a hurricane, it'll be pulling away from the Carolinas. Okay, what about just playing the rest of the evening if you have plans? Well, we've seen some thunderstorms today. I'll show you a picture of a funnel cloud that we saw earlier today, but those particular thunderstorms, as we've seen all week long, have migrated out to the west, so most of us will be dry this evening. So much more to talk about with the weekend coming up, and we'll do that for you in just a few moments. Tim